Uh, we've had a lot of exciting things going on inside of our group lately. A lot of new people getting started. A lot of new serious people getting started. Uh, and it's so easy. I was talking to a new distributor, um, and he was asking me, what are the three? He asked me a question. And the question really paralyzed me in the beginning. He said, what are the, he was brand new, just getting started. And remember, this is EJ 101, and he's just getting started. He said, Coach Epps, um, after seeing the presentation, you know, in the presentation, we cover a lot of things from front to back. We touch on a lot of things briefly from front to back. But he asked me, he said, what are the three most important things that I need to know right now getting started? What are the three most important things that I need to focus on? I know I can drop a bin. I know I can get in set points. I know I can earn a weekly check. I know I can get a free auto ship. I know I can do all these things. Um, I've heard you mention I'm able to do all of these things, but what's the three most important things right now that I need to know coming out the gate? And me knowing too much, I was paralyzed. I had to stop. I really had to stop and think. Uh, and I think if we are top echelon distributors, if we are uh, the elite leaders, when asked a question like that, I should be ready to spit the answer off the top of my head every single time the answer shouldn't change. But simply because I know so much, I was paralyzed. Oh my goodness, what was I going to do? Um, I wasn't nervous though. Um, but the thing is this, um, I think because there are so many opportunities inside of the company to do so much, to achieve so much, to earn so much, we have to make sure with the brand new distributor, we keep the main thing, the main thing. Uh, and when a brand new distributor gets started, uh, now I'm answering the question because I had to really uh, do some searching within myself because understanding so many things are available but also at the same time, understanding that every single thing we do is a process um, that even just being involved, you'll learn things as you go. But there are three really, really important things that from today or from yesterday forward, I make sure, I am making sure we don't talk about anything else until we accomplish and achieve these first three things. So the first thing is this. Somebody brand new gets started, let me say this um, as a disclaimer. If whatever you're doing isn't broke, don't worry about trying to fix it. But at the same time, I think we all are uh, being involved in the same company, are all kind of sort of on the same guidelines. We know Zeke University is important. We know scheduling the first PBR is important. And those are things I talk about, those are things that I uh, distinctly go over when somebody brand new gets started. But what's most important? So, three most important things really quick when we open the line and close the call. First thing that I think is super important that we have to make sure we're hammering home when a brand new person gets started. I know creating a list is important. I know all that good stuff is important. But the first thing is we have to start and be able to define to the new person what it means to become active. The first thing, the first thing we have to teach when somebody signs the dotted line because, see, once they sign a dotted line, the clock starts ticking. And the first thing we have to tell people that's most important is they got to become active. Nothing happens. You won't get a check in the mail. I like to say the vault won't open for you. Uh, nothing will happen for you until you first, until we first become active. Your first two people, we have to help you get your first two people started. We have to start preaching that thing to people right out the gate so that it duplicates when they help other individuals get started. I've seen people get started, sponsor that first person, get so excited about that first person and never sponsor anybody else again. A couple of days later, a couple of weeks later, a couple of months later, they're still looking for that first check because the first person they sponsored took off with the business it helped them grow a greater leg, but nothing else happened simply because they didn't understand the importance or didn't understand what it specifically meant to become active. You have to become active. First things first, you're just getting started. The most important thing you have to know is if you want the vault to open, if you want the mailman to deliver your
your first check. If you want to move forward in the company, you have to become active. What is becoming active? We have to help you get your first two people who are both on an active auto ship, and then they get a month-to-month shipment. They set up for a month-to-month shipment. One case or two, doesn't matter. But we have to help you get those first two people ASAP. We have to get first two. They can be distributors. They can be preferred customers. They can be one of each. But the first and foremost, most important thing when getting started is helping somebody get active. We have to continue to preach that thing. I know a lot of people are doing that. Um, but for me, I talk about so much with a person. You have, I, I, have to, I have to remind myself. I kind of have to rewind back and put myself in a position of being brand new. Everything we share matters. Everything is important. But some things are just more important than others. I had to stop uh, clogging my new people's brains. I had to stop clouding them up with so much info and let's say, hey, forget all the rest of this stuff. Let's focus on these things first. And the first thing was becoming active. The second thing was becoming speed qualified. Speed qualified and Team 250, I can kind of talk about at the same time, but we have to remember speed qualifications. You have 28 days from the date of your enrollment to become speed qualified, becoming speed qualified, becoming active, all of that can be done simultaneously, but the key is 28 days. Guys, 28 days is not a lot of time. How many times have we enrolled somebody? Told them, you know, it'll take them five, six days, maybe longer, maybe shorter, to get their first shipment. They get their first shipment, something comes up. We don't quite schedule the PBR, something happens, and before you know where the auto ship is, 28 days later, here comes the auto ship, and they hadn't really gotten out the gate, hadn't really gotten started. Um, I always fault myself. One thing I've learned as a leader, it's always my fault. Whether I'm right or wrong, in my mind now, it's always I'm wrong, but it's always my fault. In the beginning, I wrestled with that even when I knew I wasn't wrong, but now I understand being a leader, it always has to be my fault. If you don't speak qualified, it's my fault. If you don't understand what becoming active team 250 and speed qualifications are, it's my fault. Even if I've told you 50 million times what it is, shown you where you can find it, if it doesn't happen, in my mind, it's my fault. So the second thing I make sure that I'm voicing and expressing to my and explaining to my new teammates is what it means to become speed qualified letting them know that they have 28 days. First 28 days, you become speed qualified. It allows your first order bonus cap to increase. It allows you to get a couple of extra zip points. Um, But it allows some amazing things for you in becoming speed qualified. We are applauding and awarding those that become speed qualified. Break a record. We're cheering, we're chanting you on, we're cheering you on. Let's break a record, speed qualification. Let's do it faster than the next guy do it, did it. Let's do it faster than your sponsors did it. But we have to understand how important it is to voice to the new distributor, once again, how big speed qualifications are. We know there's so many things we can cover and so much we can teach. There's so much in the back office. There's so much in this university. And of course, all of those things, once again, are important. But the clock is ticking. We have 28 days. We have to operate with a sense of emergency. One thing I've learned about the business, people finish how they start. If we lollygag around, we drag our feet with a new person in the beginning, we can't all of a sudden, when we want to pick up the pace, expect that new distributor to want to pick up the pace too. We can't all of a sudden, because it's time for us to go platinum and roll diamond, we need a sense of urgency. We can't all of a sudden expect the new distributor to have that same sense of urgency. People finish the second way they start. If we start with a sense of urgency, they'll build a business with a sense of urgency, and they'll complete every task with a sense of urgency. If people understand we have a sense of urgency, they see us operating in that same sense of urgency. Guess what? In the building of their businesses, they'll have a sense of urgency too. Remember, people finish like they start. If they start slow, they either don't finish or they will finish, always finish slow. But if people understand your sense of urgency, if people understand our sense of urgency and getting started,
started, they don't have that same sense of urgency. Being a basketball coach, I tell people all the time, your team reflects the coach. I hear coaches complain, man, my team's so lazy. My guys won't do this. My guys won't do that. <laughs> I say, well, guess what? They're a reflection of you. My, my mom told me long ago, my kids will always be a reflection of me. So understand, people finish like they start. They do what they see us do. They do what we do. They do what we coach them to do. Okay? Do as I do, not as I say. All right? So understand the second most important thing for a brand new distributor that we must articulate. If you don't know, um, go in the back office, get in the online library today, find out the definition, find out how to explain these things. But understand, people do as we do. So teams of 50 speed qualifications are super important. The third thing, and this is where I stopped with a new person, is build the 500. What is build the 500? Because see, once you get team 250 qualified, once you speed qualified, you've gotten, I love team 250 because see what it does, yes, you get free product, but in my mind, what team 250 does is lock a new person in. Number one, they get excited because hey, next month, all they're paying is a couple of bucks for shipping an hour. But number two, it locks them in to continue to learn. The key is how much will a person learn before they walk away? Find out who they know before they go. We've all heard it. But see, Team 250 locks you in. It gives me 28 more days to give you as much knowledge as I can in those 28 days to keep you around for 28 more days. To me, we learn in 28-day cycles, 28-day periods. Team 250 allows me to lock you in to continue to educate you to want to stay around longer. Okay? Now you're locked in. Now it's time for me to teach you the importance of Build the 500. I see so many people, so many people who can put points on the board. They can sponsor people. They can help. I mean, they can recruit people. They can help people get started. But they don't quite understand the importance of Build the 500. You cannot get the upper echelon, the upper ranks inside of the company if you are not helping people become Builder 500. Builder 500, we should be a Builder 500 factory. Builder 500, to me, is the most important position in the compensation plan. Because, see, I can have 30, 40,000 in my lesser leg and volume, but if I have no Builder 500, I'll never be a triple down. It'll never happen. Builder 500 means that I've now removed myself. And now it's about your goals, your why, your dreams, and the things you want to achieve. Because see, now I have to help multiple people become build the 500. I got people in my group right now, not ashamed to say it, who are putting up some of them over two, almost 3,000, close to gold volume in their lesser legs and have no build the 500. See, Creating Build the 500 simply means that I've removed myself. Yes, I'm Team 250 qualified. Yes, I'm getting my personal things done. But I've learned enough, understand how to build my business with enough leverage to be able to not only worry about myself, but now I can help you. Build the 500 factory. How many people can we help become Build the 500? If you help two people, one on your left, one on your right, become build a 500, by default, you'll become a build a 1,000. See, if we can help those people duplicate and do that by default, you'll become silver. You'll become gold. But see, so many times, compensation plans force you to focus so much on yourself that you tend to kind of forget about everybody else. Caesar is not the company. The compensation plan here is not about you. It's about how many people inside of your group you can help to hit that next level. Build the 500 is so important, but we have to be teaching it. It's important. It's the most important thing, I think, after Team 250 is now let me show you how I can help you become a Build the 500. We help you become Build the 500, then we turn around and teach your new people those exact things and everything else will fall in place. Now, obviously, we have to put some activity to it to be able to make all of those things happen. I've been guilty of worrying about the activity first. I've been
been guilty of putting those things first, not any longer. Three things we got to focus on. First, let me show you how to get active. Second, let's talk about the importance of Team 250 and how it becomes to get qualified. A lot of times you can get those two, three things done simultaneously. Third, is build a 500. Let's not worry about, I hear people get involved, tell me how to get to the bins. I'll quickly show you. We'll get to that. But let's worry about those these things first. Man, I'm going to be a triple down. I'm going to pass you in the cup plate. Okay, that's great. But you have to get active first. You have to become a build the 500 first. No way around it. Let's focus uh, and concentrate on those things. So this morning, all I wanted to do, I'm so transparent. I try to help people where I am. Uh, all I wanted to do was just have a little bit of ZG 101. There's so much out there for us that I think it's so easy to get caught up and get excited and want to tell all the new people all the new things. And those things are great. If they stay around long enough, we'll get to those things. Long enough could be a couple of weeks. But understand it's super important for us. Uh, I'm getting a little feedback. I think somebody has to know. So if somebody has to speak, hold on. You keep on. Hold on.
guys have an incredible day, and we'll see you on the top of the line up. Thank you.